At the turn of the 20th century, the fate of Pittsburgh State University rested in the hands of a small group of university and community leaders. Together, they would secure the university's future and unknowingly begin the tradition, Apple Day. Apples have been a part of the university's storied history almost from the beginning. But as with many traditions, it's not always clear why. Hi, I'm Brett Dalton from the Marketing and Communication Office. Since Apple Day is our oldest tradition here at Pitt State, surely students will know what it's all about, right? Let's go find out. Lena, tell me, what is Apple Day? I think they give out free apples. But why do they give out free apples? Because we're gorillas. <laughs> what is Apple Day? Well, Apple Day would, uh, um, I think they like pick the top people in the classes to do something with them. Okay. Why do you think apples? Where's that come in? Um, Johnny Appleseed. How many different apple recipes do you think there are in the world? Maybe about 2,000. 2,000. Yeah. That's probably a good yeah, guess. How do you say apple in German? Um, I think it's Frugenschnauzer. I'm pretty sure is what I know about Apple Day. Keep it going. French? Yeah. Uh, French, I would say, oui, oui, Apple. Do you know what Apple Day is? Actually, I have no idea. No. It's like uh, celebrate for, for apples. Celebrating for apples, yeah. Have you ever had applesauce? Yeah, I have. What's your favorite type of applesauce? There's types of applesauce. Let's move on. How long have we been celebrating Apple Day? A long time. Long time. Take a guess at how many years? 25. Okay, well it's a little bit more than that, but we're getting there. What is Apple Day? Apple Day is uh, it's a tradition at Pitt State. There's Clarence Price and a William something or another. They were lobbying in Topeka. We're kind of just praising what students and faculty members did in the past. And when they came back, he was fined a barrel of apples. It started off as um, as a joke, I believe. Pretty sure that's super close. I think I think you're on the right track. The tradition of Apple Day dates back to the turn of the 20th century. In 1907, we were able to get a $150,000 appropriation from the state legislature to build what is today Russ Hall, the first and oldest building on our campus. Apple Day came from that because after that legislation passed, uh, a number of the senators and representatives in a good-natured way fined uh, Clarence Price, the mayor of Pittsburgh, and they threw kind of Russ S. Russ into the picture as well. They find them a barrel of apples for having been on the legislative floor during debates, and they were not supposed to be there. Uh, what happened when Russell S. Russ and Clarence Price returned to Pittsburgh, there was a huge celebration here. I mean, the students really got involved with it, the community got involved with it, uh, and it was a great celebration. They decided to celebrate that fact again the next year in 1908, and that's what started the tradition of having a commemoration day that we know as Apple Day ever since. Since that time, the community and university have continued to grow and annually commemorate their accomplishments on Apple Day. Students should come and learn about their uh, university at that meeting. It's an opportunity for them to learn about this great place we call home that they probably don't hear about in their classes or side conversations. I think traditions are important. Uh, I think really uh, you want to build on those, those, use those as foundation points. Apple Day is just one of those days that uh, you think about the history and the value of Pitt State and we all have a common reason for being here and we've used it to honor alumni and faculty and students. Apple Day is uh, not only one of our oldest traditions on campus, it's also our unique tradition among all the universities and colleges in the United States. While the finding of the apples in itself is, you know, is, is somewhat humorous, the, the fact that we can take part in that today, that we can appreciate it and respect how we've evolved from that point to now as an institution, uh, I think is important. So, I, you, you want those historical markers in, in order to have a personality, and that's part of Pitt State. We're a small town in southeast Kent. We got a university like a lot of other college towns in Kansas and across the country. But we really connect in this town. The university just doesn't reside here, it's part of here. So, there you have it. 
what began as a humorous find, has grown into a tradition that has connected generations of gorillas. And this year, just as they did at the turn of the 20th century, students, faculty, and members of the community will come together to celebrate the legacy of Apple Day. Apple Day.